What's up guys, Triton the Lion here, and today we will be making the very first video on the channel, and that game is going to be Pokemon Infinity. If you guys are new to the channel, of course you are because this is a brand new channel, please make sure you subscribe, hit the like button, and share this to your friends. So this is Pokemon Infinity, it's a Pokemon fan game. So it's free to play, you can search it and play it with me if you want to. Let's get started I guess. Hey, wake up. Come on kid, wake up. We'll be right here with you until you wake up. Their eyes, they're waking up. Be careful, stand back. Can you heal me? Can you hear me, child? No. We have a funny one on <laughs> We have a funny one on our hands. Let's test your memory. Tell me, child, do you remember anything about yourself? I'm a boy. I see. Genesis Forest. Wah, Kido. Take it easy. You can get woozy if you get up too fast. Do you remember your name? Let's see. Triton. I don't think it will fit, but. Yep, Triton the L. <laughs> What's that? Triton the loser? No, I don't want that. Uh, let's try this one. Triton the Leo. Doesn't make sense either, so. I guess we'll just stick with Triton for now. So your name is Triton. Well, Triton, my name is Professor Wormwood. This is my assistant, Lucy. Given that this is no place to recover, we'll escort you back to the town. You were brought to a nearby town and laid to rest. You fell back asleep for several hours. All right, here we go. We got a note over here. It's a note, read it. Okay, fine, I'll read it. Triton, hopefully you will read this when you wake up. I'll be in my lab. Please stop by. It's the big building upon, up on the hill. Wormwood. There's a book that says if you push X, it will open the menu. Very cryptic. Let's try that. Press X. Oh, okay. So let's check our profile here. Profile. We have 3,000 Poké Dollars. Uh, I wonder if there's only 5 Gym Badges on this one. Because right now I only see 5 Silhouettes. I haven't played this game. Um, Let's check our bag. Nothing in the bag. Okay. We'll try to do a Nuzlocke playthrough as much as we can but if we fail then i guess we'll just do a regular playthrough don't step in here it's a trash can okay so i believe you can run here okay there you go you can run by pressing the shift shift key um the animation is a bit choppy i'm not sure i'm liking that a lot but I wish I could swim across the path. It looks like there's a cave over there. Let's see. You can automatically pick up hidden items just by walking over them. Oh, that's great. Let's see what's inside here. Good thing the professor was out on his daily hike through Genesis Forest. Something bad could have happened if they hadn't found you found you not pound <laughs> maybe that's what happened maybe they pound me that's why i got unconscious unconscious oh you must be the kid that the professor and my daughter helped good to see you're okay my daughter lucy works with professor wormwood i think they're expecting you there's a tv over here a nature documentary about the different organisms in genesis forest
Triton, hey, over here. It's me, Lucy. I was one of the people who helped you out of the forest. I just noticed uh, the avatar of Lucy looks very happy, you know? I think Professor Wormwood wanted you to stop by when you got when you got up. Who? Professor Wormwood? Hmm. You must not be from around here. He's the professor here in Ego. Ego? Ego? He studies Pokemon and stuff. Okay, so this is the Ego region, I guess. Or at least he used to. He's getting a little less ambitious in his old age. Follow me. I'll bring you up to the lab. By the way, if you guys are wondering what kind of music this is, this is Stream Beats by Harry Seller. Very chill vibes. This is the professor's lab. Feel free to look around. He's waiting for you on the other side of the room. Take your time though. I'm sure he's in no rush. Oh, and don't mind the mess. The professor can get lost in books pretty quickly. Let's explore a little bit. The professor wants me to study this book. What good is knowing what species are native around the area? I don't care about catching Pokemon, I just want to study them. Oh, I suppose I need to catch them to study them. That, <laughs> that makes sense. I can't believe you're a scientist if you can't figure that out. Constant data entry is mind-numbing, but a necessity for scientific progress. I helped the professor with the m more modern aspects of Pokemon research. He's a little more old school. We strike a nice balance that way. What is this thing? It's a telecom unit. Used to video and audio call pe with people, with other people you don't really know any people to call. Ah, that's sad. Don't know anyone, huh? Let's go upstairs. Oh, there's another note here. Let's see. Silpco printed at the top. Read it. Dear Professor Wormwood, We have received your request. Introductory Pokemon Trainer package. And have submitted it for processing. A sooner... As soon as our officers have confirmed the order, our field agents will be dispatched to catch the requested amount of Bulbasaur, Charmander and Squirtle and have them promptly and humanely shipped to you. Estimated delivery is between 6 to 12 weeks. You will be notified of any changes to your order. Best regards, Silfco President. Hmm, what are you gonna do with all the Charmanders? Bulbasaurs and Squirtles. The computer is off. The monitor has a light layer of dust on its surface. A cluttered desk full of recently printed papers and dense literature. Okay, I guess we'll go ahead and talk to the professor. Ah, yes. Triton, so glad to see you up and moving around. Surely you're feeling better by now. I was hoping I could talk to you for a bit before you, <laughs> before you inevitably went on your way. Please follow me, we can enjoy the fresh air. Lucy? Did you need something, Professor? Yes, thank you. Can you coordinate what we discussed earlier? Absolutely, I'll have them ready in a jiffy. Thank you, Lucy. Come with me, Triton. I don't get a choice, huh? What if I don't want to come with you? I've lived here for a long time, Triton. I've met hundreds of people. All the characters you could imagine have crossed paths with me here in Ego. Ego, Echo, whatever. Adventure <laughs> Adventurers, trainers, breeders, business people, farmers, even people from completely different regions. The thing is... Ego is a small island region. When someone new touches foot here, there isn't a soul on the island that isn't made aware in under a day. So why does no one know who you are? We found you in the forest with nothing but what you have on. 
no tracks, no records of any planes or boats coming or going for weeks. I've called around the region and no one seems to have any idea who you are. Why do you think that is? Well, both answers kind of gave the same idea. I don't know and no idea. So, I guess I don't know. That's what I was afraid of. No memories to help solve this mystery. Let me ask you. Do you know what a Pokemon is? No. Tell me. Fascinating. Either your memory is having a major lapse in retention, or you're from a place that I've never heard of. So guys, basically if you guys don't know what a Pokemon is, then... Basically, Wormwood is saying that you guys are not very, uh, very updated, I guess. <laughs> well, basically he's saying that you're an idiot if you don't know what a Pokemon is. It's, it's, it's him, not me, okay? It's him. Pokemon... <laughs> Pokemon are amazing creatures that have intertwined themselves with our world for thousands of years. I've never heard of someone who doesn't know what a Pokemon is. Again, as you can see there, there's the evidence right there. This is my Pikachu. We've been partner for years. My Pikachu has protected me over and over on our many adventures. I believe, I believe that in order for you to figure out why you're here and where you came from, you're going to have to traverse this island. It wouldn't be wise to do that without a partner of your own. Let us return to the lab. I have three Pokeballs behind me that contain young and inexperienced Pokemon. Like I said, if you're going to be traveling around the island, you're going to need a partner to protect you. So please, Triton, go ahead and take a look. Pick who you want to be by your side. Can I choose you, Professor? <laughs> you seem to know a lot about this island, so... Anyway... Ooh... You want Bulbasaur, the Cactus Ball Pokemon. You want Charmander, the Flare Lizard Pokemon. Charmander looks... different. Right? Hmm... Actually, all of them will look different. You want Squirtle, the Rain Cloud Pokemon. What if I don't want any? Please pick one. It's kind of my job to give this out to trainers around Ego. You are no different. Okay, fine then. Should we go for Bulbasaur? I want to go for Charmander, but I figured out a lot of Pokemon trainers already have chosen Charmander. So I guess I'll go with Bulbasaur then. Try to obtain Bulbasaur. Would you like to give a nickname to Bulbasaur? And... You know what? I forgot to open up a random name generator tab on my browser. So let me do that real quick. Random name... Generator. Mm, let's see. Um, we'll do first name only. And it's a male, so... We'll do a masculine name and generate a name. Actually, I have to... <laughs> have to redo that because... It's... Let me see. Let me modify. Have to choose the names. Maybe Japanese names. It gave me a name that has some different kind of characters that I can't read. So. Sean. Okay. Fine. We'll name this bar ba 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 Bulbasaur Sean. Sean the Bulbasaur. A fine choice, Triton. I trust you and your new partner will get along great. With a Pokemon at your side, you should be able to explore this island in search of answers. You should visit an old colleague of mine who lived northeast of here. 
they run the lighthouse. If anyone can help you figure out how you got here, it's gonna be them. Their name is Professor Thorne. They're one of the smartest people I know. Don't tell them I said that though. They'll go to their head. I'm gonna give you one of these as well, it's a Pokedex. It'll help you keep track of the other Pokemons you meet. Here's a handful of items that will aid you on your journey. Okay, we got a town map. Well, good luck, Triton. Remember, you can always rest in my guest house. And you can always come to us for help. I wish you the best. I would head north from here. The Pokemon that are south of here are a little stronger than you may be ready for. Okay. What if I need help right now? There's nothing like having a partner by your side. Teamwork can help you tackle any obstacle. Okay, let's explore a little bit before we leave this town. You say it's a mystery how you got here. Does anyone really know how they got here? <laughs> Does anyone really know how they got where they are? Do you remember? Do you remember beginning your life? Well, how about you? How you got in this island, huh? Just get a point. The news is on and would you like to listen to the weather forecast or a news story? Never mind. Yeah, where you, where did you came from, huh? Isn't technology incredible? Our technology has been advancing exponentially for years. On a long enough timeline. Logic would dictate that we would be able to create lifelike simulations. Nah, that would be crazy. Well, you won't really know. Hayfield Path Sorry about all this. Sometimes the Marip can be a little stubborn. I'm sure if you come back later, this will all be taken care of. Okay, so I guess we can't really go south. So there's only one way that we can go to, and that's gonna be north. Hey, you look like a young, ambitious trainer. My kid doesn't want this Pokemon egg. Would you like to have it? Of course. Okay, we got a Pokemon egg. Why not? Who wouldn't want that? Oh, hey there. I was just saying goodbye to my dad. I'm on my way to the professor's lab. Oh, sorry. My name is Steel. I'm going to get a Pokemon from Professor Wormwood and train it to be the best to be the strongest around. It's been my dream since I was real young. I can't wait to finally begin my journey. Anyway, time to fulfill my fate of taking on the Ego Council Challenge. The what? Oh, you don't know? The Ego Council Challenge is where you go around Ego and battle each member of the Ego Council. They are some of the strongest trainers in EGO and help maintain and contribute to life here on the island. If you beat them, they'll give you a badge in honor of your victory. Well, I better head off. I hope to see you around. I guess this steel guy is going to be our rival. Maybe. I don't know. <clears throat> okay. Till was excited to see running shoes I got them. They ran out of here while saying something about holding Z, whatever that means. Hmm. I already figured it out. Small TV with few stickers scattered around the sides. Laptop with a smudge screen. Huh. Why is your laptop screen smudged? Till? I think you have some explaining to do, my friend. Hey there, fellow adventurer. Looks like you're headed out on an adventure around Ego. Here's a couple traveling tips for you. The region of Ego pronounced as Ego. Oh, there you go. So I was right, it's pronounced as Ego. It's a small but dense. The people and Pokemon in each area can change based on the time and weather. Another tip, 
Don't be afraid to go to people's homes to learn information from them and their belongings. The people of Ego have experience with Pokemon around here. They may have advice on raising them. Good luck. Okay, so we still don't have Pokeballs. Actually, let's check out uh, Sean real quick. Still have that egg. Let's check out the summary. Uh, grass Rock is the typing of Bulbasaur. Okay. Uh, sassy Nature. Now, another thing that I forgot is to open up the nature. Pokemon Nature. So let's see. Hmm. Hold on just one second here, please. Let's see here. Sassy is going to be... Boosted special defense and lowered speed. Well, I guess that's okay. Uh, being a rock type, it's kind of defensive in a way. So, Rough skin. Inflicts damage to the foe on contact. Okay. Uh, yeah. It's got Tackle, Growl, Lich Seed, and Harden. Well, no grass type moves yet. That's okay, I guess. Explore a little bit here. Hey, here's a tip. Wild Pokemon are lurking in tall grass. If you see one walking around outside the grass, be careful. Those ones are usually stronger. I hear that a roaming Pokemon even has a higher chance than normal encounters to have its hidden ability. Okay, that's nice, I guess, because you can... You have a chance to get a Pokemon with hidden ability like this one, I guess. Ooh, you just get a Pokeball. I don't want to talk. Well, there it is. Starly. Okay, um... I can go for Leech Seed for now. I don't think this guy has any... Flying type moves yet, so... I guess that's okay. I'm gonna go for Tackle. Pursuit. Okay. Now that's a good move to have, not gonna lie. I hope we don't kill this Starly though. Okay, now time to throw the Pokeball. Let's see. Pokeball, we have one. Alright. Starly was caught. Actually, you know what? Let me put up my notes here. So, Starly at uh, maybe 23. Okay, so that will make uh, editing easier for me. Yes, we're going to give a nickname to this guy and it's going to be a feminine name. Fuyuko is the name that we got. Fuyuko. Okay, so let's check out the Starly real quick. Normal flying adamant. Ooh, that's really good, man. It's a good nature for Starly. Adamant. Boosted attack, lowered special attack. Keen eye. Okay. Not too excited for keen eye, but you know, it's it's there. We got berries over here. Yeah, I guess I'll take the orange berries. Can we plant berries too? Okay, I guess we'll plant some. 
that way we can harvest more when the time comes i'm not sure if it's going to grow without me watering it but this hat makes me look cool i don't think so <laughs> i don't think so man. who told you that it makes you look cool fairy wind Level 6 now I'm trying to learn sand attack. Okay, we'll make room for sand attack I guess. Sometimes sand attack can be useful. Still got my hat. You know what? I'm gonna talk to you. There are different Pokemon that come out at night. That's it. Anyway, um we're at 26 minutes right now. I guess we can we can wrap this episode up for now, the very first episode on the channel. I'm going to try to figure out how to how to heal on this game. So yeah. Thank you guys <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching the very first video and the very first episode on the channel. If you guys enjoy the video, let me know in the comment section down below. Subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, and let me know what other games you would like me to play. Thank you, have a great day, bye.